Hello everyone. <clears throat> Welcome back to Microsoft Visual Basic .NET tutorials. Today we are going to speak about variables and see how to define them and work with them a little. Uh, to start learning about variables, let's first create simple application. So let's go to File, New Project, and let's call that project uh, My Vars. Okay. I would like to emphasize that this application doesn't do anything, it's just a simple test, so uh, you don't uh, do something like that in real life. Okay, so uh, we are going to create a button to test uh, the variables, and let's call this one integer. Okay, so let's double click this one. Okay. Before we start writing variables, let's understand that the variable is in order for the computer to process information and give you good results, it should first uh, place your information into what's called the memory. Okay? And if the computer cannot put your information into memory, it cannot do anything, uh, it cannot understand them and, and do anything about it. Okay? So, uh, for example, when you're watching video or um, playing games and doing stuff like that, what's happening actually is the information is being drawn from the CD-ROM or the hard disk or any other device into computer memories where the computer performs some kind of processing and displaying the result on the screen or storing the values back into the hard disk. Okay, so in order for the application to get um, some kind, let's say, a memory unit, for uh, okay, you should tell the computer to do so. And to tell the computer to do so, you write this command uh, dimension, okay, um, uh, my int as integer. Okay, now what does this mean? The dimension is a keyword, it tells the computer to allocate memory, okay. The my int, it, it is uh, what's called a variable, it is a name you are going to give for that memory, uh, okay. Uh, so uh, uh, it is friendly to you, okay? When I say it's friendly to you, I mean you give this name, it's a, fa a familiar name for you, so that you can remember that memory, okay? And this part tells the type of this variable, we'll get into that later on. Okay, so for now, let's say my int equal 99, and we want to display the value of this one, ms msg box mm, my int. Okay, so what does this code do? It first defines a variable, second it will assign a value to put 99 here, then it asks the computer to display the value of my int. Okay, so let's save our work first. Okay, press the save button. Then press the play. Okay, put this one in the middle. Run the application and you can see that this is a 99. Okay. So now we're going to change the code a little bit. We will replace the 99 with uh, 50 plus 20. Okay, what's going uh, to happen here? Those calculations will be performed and the result is placed in this variable. Okay, so run the application again. This one in the center. And press this one, you can see you get the value 70. Okay. Now we're going to change this one again. So my int equals my int plus uh, 30. So what's happening here? You are putting the value 70 from the first calculation. Second calculation depends on the first. Get the current value of my int after to do that. Okay? So uh, um, it will be better if, if you try to change it a little bit and experiment it yourself to get more understanding of that, but the principle is pretty much easy. You depend on the previous value of calculation to display the, the new value. Okay, so uh, how do you, did you get this 100 first? You, uh, the computer will add 50 to 20 to, put, to get the value 70. Then, this is the second statement, tells the computer to get the value 70, add 30 to that, and this and to replace the, the value of my int with the new value, which is 100, okay? So, um, this is basically how variables works, okay? 
you define a variable you perform some calculation and put the result into that variable and you can use variables in the expressions like you can see here okay uh, one important things about variables okay is that right here we used uh, for example here an integer okay um, this is called the data type uh, before uh, I think it's better before uh, discussing the integer data type let me define uh, two variables dimension a as integer b as integer sorry into um, dash what's happening here integer okay now I'm going to put 10 in a and I'm going to put 13 b and my integer would be a plus b finally okay so right now I have created three variables a b and my int uh, they are all of that integer we get into integer in a minute so I put 10 a I put 13 b and then I add one to another get the value into my integer and display my integer on the screen okay so right now I press play put this one in the middle I press it you can see that um, 10 plus 30 is 40 okay and one might wonder what 10 is 10 is in variable a 13 variable b so 10 plus 30 equals 40 this is what's happening I suppose that okay so since we understand now what the variable is let's check what this data type is okay from its name it's a data type it tells me the type of this variable of this memory structure and the type imposes some kind of restriction on your variables uh, integer means that your variable can store only numbers okay and those numbers should be only considered as uh, integer values okay uh, let's say for example now uh, I am going to add to those two numbers the value 2.5 so you should get uh, 42.5 right so uh, let's say this one run the application and I click here you can see you are getting 42 you are not getting a 42.5 and the reason for that is that uh, the reason for that sorry is uh, the data type of my int is of is integer okay and integer cannot store floating point number this is called the floating point number it has uh, this 0.5 part okay and integer cannot store the values uh, after the decimal point for example 0 0.1 0 0.052 and stuff like that you will always lose those uh, you always do those floating point uh, 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 you always do those fractions okay and to get rid of that okay uh, to get rid of this problem you have a different data type and th that different data type is uh, called a single actually there is not only a single there are many other types so we're going to define this button call it single go to its event handler dimension as one or single okay dimension as two a single now uh, let's say as one equal two uh, and let's say as two equal four point six and let me define this variable dimension as 3 as single so as 3 equal as 1 plus as 2 and as 2 box as 3 so now 2 plus 